but I videotaped them on Zoom <laughs> because I was I had to turn on I had to turn on my mute because I kept, couldn't stop laughing, and they're making out with their hands yeah. and they're like oh no 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 come and to discover to come to discover that's now the only way I want to have. <laughs> <laughs> You imprinted you know, on that moment. <laughs> Creature Commandos, what's up, guys? Hi. Yeah. I saw the first five episodes of this, and I have to say, the show fucking rules. Okay? <laughs> and we could say that because this is a mature show. We can curse a little bit, That's right? right? That's right. All right. Uh, James, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, it's so cool to see like your DC universe coming to life. Creature Commandos is the first step fully into this universe you're launching. Yeah. Why start with Creature Commandos? Because it was written. <laughs> um, I, you know, I mean, I, start, you know, I had talked to Max about doing something after Peacemaker. You know, we were going to do Peacemaker season two, of course, and we were like, you know, what about something with animation? I met with Peter Girardi over at Warner Brothers Animation. They're like, let's do something with animation. I'm like, what would I do? And I'm like, well, maybe this Creature Commandos. Um, and I just, I had the ideas for it. I started writing it just completely on my own. Wrote the the seven episodes. And uh, then after I was done, I showed it to Peter and I said, maybe we should do this. And he was like, yeah. And then I got the job as a DC uh, CEO, uh, along with Peter, Cochio. 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 <laughs> and, uh, and so then, yeah, we just were, we were ready to go. And here we are. And here we are. So did you write it as intended for animation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. What changes when you're writing for animation versus live action? Uh, budget. <laughs> Yeah. You get away with more? You get away with, yeah. I mean, it's like really, you know, you write a war scene or you write a scene in the kitchen and they're about the same amount of money. So it was really cool. You write a, a robot versus a human and the robot's actually probably cheaper because it's less animation because he doesn't move as good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really just allowing us to just go all out with the story and show this magical world of the DCU. Awesome, man. Steve, you're, you're coming back to DC now. I'm back, baby. Welcome back again. <laughs> uh, when did you find out you're going to be part of Creature Commandos? I don't. You probably texted me or something like a few months before we did the record. So, mm -hmm. and we recorded like a year ago, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, not long after, not actually not long after Peacemaker season two. Okay. How do we find? Economos, in your in your perspective, for people who haven't seen the episodes yet, uh, what's he been up to since Peacemaker season one? Well, I didn't realize until I saw the animation how 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 soon after the season finale of of season one of Peacemaker this was. I still have a cane yeah. and a limp from that horrible compound fracture yeah. in my leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We find him, uh, you know, I'm assuming still working at Belle Reve, you know, where I've gone was back your, to work. I don't mean to inter Was your beard different? Have you, I told you guys about my beard. <laughs> <laughs> still dying the beard? When we started season two. Oh, you can tell he dies it? When we started season two, I was like, what, what's the story now? Because we had this massive payoff, and James was like, we don't even mention it in season two. You can basically do whatever you want. I think you still wanted to keep a beard, though, and... I was so self-conscious about how gray it was. I was like, well, let's keep dyeing it, but make it look more real. And I'm still looking in the mirror these days going, yeah, this is still uh, obviously dyed. It's, well, it's burgundy. <laughs> but it's, it's, burgundy. It's, it's consistent. Yeah, I mean, he's, I mean well, you, you, you know, that was John Economos' arc in the first season of Peacemaker was yeah. he learned he needed to switch to L'Oreal. <laughs> That's what he's... <laughs> He says it. He says it. He, and does. He, he learns like I learned my lesson. I've got to right. And that's that's what he's doing, obviously. Yeah. Dude, it was like the most emotional moment on television. Yeah. yeah. John <laughs> Economist is still on the same trajectory. Yeah. Right he's now. not. He doesn't change. He's a creature too much. of habit. Yeah. All right. What what uh, what's the trajectory that Rick Flag Senior is on, Frank? Rick's taking over everything. Taking over everything. Yeah. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's everywhere. He's going to be everywhere. Yeah. He is. I, really? I just made that up. Well, you know that he is. You know he's in no, everything. He, he is. He is. You know, um, um, it's been, I've never had someone tell me something and all that he said is true, <laughs> except for James Gunn in this business. What did yeah. he tell you? Well, he, he called me about, he called me about uh, Creature Commandos. Yeah. And then he said, you know, we, uh, uh, Peacemaker and then Superman. And uh, I, I, I've been on all those sets. 
and that that never happens in this town. So did you get like a full debriefing on like, all right, you're going from this to that, here's the arc, like, was it all at once? Not a f- no, 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 not a full debriefing, it was just, uh, he just calls you and tells you this is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, Are you, you know, and I'm, 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 I, from the very beginning when he called me, I was like, hey, whatever it is, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, you want me to paint your house? I'm, I'm good. We, we, Frank and I have been talking for years, years. actually. I mean, yeah. since I first met you in, in Atlanta for that photo shoot, yeah. you know? With the, with, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, I was like, yeah, I want to do something with you because I loved his, t- I loved him in his TV show so much in, in uh, Kingdom. Kingdom. And was, uh, yeah. And so um, I, I, I was always, I'm like, I'm like, I'm always looking for something to figure out, you know, where we can do something together. And I just kept looking, and then all of a sudden, you know, Rick Flag Sr. came in. And he animated are. him like a total dilf. Yeah. Oh, and, man. Like, come on. Let's be, like, <laughs> yeah. People are going to be thirsting after this guy. He is dilf. You're not said, the first yeah. person to say yeah, that. No, you, you've, He's dilfy as fuck. Way to go, buddy. He's <laughs> dilfy as fuck. Um, <laughs> but the first person ever cast in the DCU was Maria, who... Like, we had to cast her immediately because, you know, um, because everybody in Pakolistan had to speak the same language. And I needed to make sure Maria could do it. And if she could, then they would all be speaking uh, Bulgarian. So um, so I, she was the very first person that we offered a, a role to. And uh, what, you were sitting on the plane or something? When yeah, I, I was sitting you? on the plane. I, I was losing my mind because that was... <laughs> Not exactly right after Guardians, but maybe right after Guardians. It was maybe. right after was Guardians. It? I think it was right. It was pretty shortly after. It was shortly, but yeah. I was losing my mind. How am I going to say goodbye to these people, especially to James? Because he's been like a hero. The way that you can be so talented creatively at the same time be a nice human being and want to spend time with these, with him has been like, oh, no, why, why, why is the end? Will I ever see him again? And then he texted me. Hello, Creature Commanders will come to you. I'm writing this femme fatale like a Disney sort of a princess, which is going to be paired with the Commanders. Uh, and I was like, no, is it, really, is it really happening? And then it happened. Like Frank said, you cannot believe that things that are thrown at you are actually going to happen. And with him, whatever he says, it's real. He also usually doesn't tell you until it's right. set. That, that's the big thing. Right. Like, I didn't tell. I knew, like... He was in every draft of Superman from the beginning. <laughs> but I didn't tell him until I was absolutely sure that character wasn't going to be cut from the script. Right. So that's that's the big thing. I've learned over the years <laughs> that you just don't you don't write somebody into a script and then you tell them immediately and then you have to cut them and tell them they're cut. It's hard enough when you cut somebody out of the movie. By the by the way, Frank, I thought this was the first time <laughs> <laughs> to by the tell way, you. That yeah. happened to me. Of with course. Steven Spielberg. It can happen. Yes. It and can. no one told me I went to the premiere and guess what? That's when I found out. That happened to me too. Yeah, kidding. but that that I'll never do. Just kidding. Like I've, I have to cut people out, and I hate it because sometimes it's what's best for the movie. Yeah, but yeah, I'll yeah, always yeah. tell the actor. Yeah. Even Don't you know come. if Don't it. Come. <laughs> I'll tell them if it's a big actor, and I'll tell them if it's a small actor. I'll always let the actor know that we cut him out because the last thing you want is some poor kid yeah. who's gotten a couple lines in a movie showing up on the first day with all his friends, and he's like, "Oh, oh where was I? I, know, I thought I, I had you know." But you don't know until the script's up. I, I found out about Peacemaker, the series, uh, literally like three months before I showed up to start shooting it. He, he sent me an email in October saying, I've written a spinoff from Suicide Squad with Peacemaker. You're going to be John Economist. And the scripts were done. Like within a couple weeks, he'd sent me eight fully written scripts, which really didn't change much. <laughs> No, Be- I don't think they've the changed almost. Really. Yeah, the creature commander. Yeah, the peacemaker scripts haven't changed. No. Yeah, yeah, because he's a major role in Peacemaker too. When did I tell you that? Uh, you told me that. And that I pretty much knew was going to happen. There was no way I wasn't going to have you in Peacemaker too, though. During during the during this, you told me that. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that. But was I thought maybe I'd come in on an on a cool little arc or something like that. Come to find out, I mean almost all the episodes yeah. and a big part of the through line of, of the theme of the whole season and it's like oh my god I mean you know well I, you know, I think it might the answer to this might be obvious but what does Rick Flagg think of Peacemaker and you're a trained wrestler and fighter John Cena he's done he a little bit of wrestling as John Cena says he does Shakespeare wrestling <laughs> sometimes it, it's sometimes tragic. Yeah. Um, uh, but you know, what uh, what are those two dynamics like? Oh, well, I mean, I think 
part of my whole existence, I don't know, what can I say? Part of my whole... You're not fond of. I'm not fond of. I think good, he's good done, reason. He's, in, in the words of Robert De Niro, he's done some things. He's done some things, and he's got to pay for those things. <laughs> That's okay? pretty good. He's done some things. Yeah. Uh, you'll see. All right. Yeah. Uh, Maria, actually, I want to come to you because uh, you, you guys, I, I was going to ask you what your introduction to the princess was, but I would rather just build on it because you guys, you kind of shared. I was on a plane. Uh, but you guys got to create a new character. This isn't a character from DC Comics. So what was it like to work together to find this character? Well, it was mostly James. I trust him with my whole heart, completely. You know, he, he writes something that is so layered and so visual, even on writing, that it's mm -hmm. easy to adapt. Yeah. And when you get to work with him, that's, I swear in my life, that's my real experience. You will let us try different ways of saying things, doing acting, but it's never going to be like, oh, here's your freedom, do whatever you want to do with it, yeah. and just step away. It's going to be always with navigation, which way, which, di which direction, direction, which is going to be working, and really helpful, which is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. With this character, she's nothing like me. <laughs> like, she is somebody that is very feminine, knows her femininity, how to use it, what to do with it, quite outspoken, quite layer mm -hmm. in a way of knowing how to speak with differently with different people and unpredictable yeah. with me whatever goes to my, through my mind goes straight out of my mouth that is true <laughs> so, <laughs> i appreciate that i appreciate that that's cool um, uh, but yeah and we build it he, I'm, I'm building everything because he knows how to build it yeah. Over me. I, I'm and doesn't mess with characters. Never yeah. has. I love it. Uh, for you two, first of all, what's harder? Making the grunting noises for a fight <laughs> or making the grunting noises of getting it on in a bathroom? I, I, think, uh, I think the fight. Is it? Because I make sexual grunting noises all day long by myself. No, I, no, actually, just... I haven't made sexual noises all day long at all. <laughs> I, I just, it's something I do. It's, it's weird. My kids really complain, but I don't know. I do, I do have I, I, I do have the best video um, because we recorded them, uh, you know, having on screen uh, having sex right. together, and uh, I have it on. I was on Zoom, but I videotaped them on Zoom because I was I had to turn on I had to turn on my mute because I kept, couldn't stop laughing, and they're making out with their hands and they're like oh no no no. Come to, discover, to come to discover, that's now the only way I want to have to <laughs> so You imprinted you know, on that moment. <laughs> so that now the only my way you can be excited yes, is by your hand. own yeah. fist. I wasn't yeah. sure if I was going to ask that one, but I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Which episode is everybody most looking forward of the seven to audience is seeing? I, you know, it was so long ago that we laid it down. I'm, I'm kind of lost a little bit, and I've seen the first four. Same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you saw five. I saw huh? five. So you guys haven't oh. even seen five. No. Huh? Five was a big one. Well. Yeah. <laughs> five is a big one. Yeah. 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 For, for him too, or. No, for you. For Frankenstein. Yeah. For you and Frankenstein. Yeah. Frankenstein. Yeah. It's good. It's really good, though. Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. fun. Yeah, but he, but by the way, I don't know where Harbor is. I, I, he's going to be here later. He's got a drug problem. He's probably on the pier somewhere. <laughs> um, the uh, pier. But that guy, when he, we, we, That's we, not true. We, uh, just, we, just so people no, know. That's not true. <laughs> he's not at the pier. He's but he does have a drug yeah, he's, no. he's got somebody. <laughs> it was not true. He's got somebody who makes his drug runs for him. <laughs> he would never go to the No, he never go by himself. He might be recognized from strangers. He's volunteering at a soup kitchen. Yeah. No, but he, he, that guy, I'm going to tell you, we were in the booth, you know, at the same time, and uh, this doesn't happen often, but when he was doing his thing, I was, like, feeling, what am I doing? I, I'm, I'm not, this guy, this guy's amazing at what he's doing, like, how he's created this Frank I was like, I'm a fraud. <laughs> like, I, he was that good. Was, like, yeah, he's he, great. You know what I mean? And so when I saw the, when I saw the episodes with him, I was like, and, and, and you too, well, like, I was it's just so going to different, because I, I was know feeling you. the same way about you, because when we did a session together, James put us together, and I was listening to him, and I was like, oh, God, I'm set for failure here. Uh, uh, that's that's, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. Because you're not failure. acting in front of somebody, right. you know what I mean? You're listening. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting thing as an actor, and I'm like, 
oh, this guy really knows what he's doing. I mean, wow, <laughs> you, you, you know. And Alan, too, they've changed their voices so much. Well, Alan is, is like, he is guy, like, yeah, he can do anything I know. with his voice. I, he's like, that's that's his thing, I you know. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but they're you, all great, everybody. When you, when, when, you know, there's a symbiosis, like when, yeah. you, when it comes together, Somehow it all it's really works. It's, uh, I was I'm amazed by the whole process. All right, I love it. Well, thank you guys so much for having yeah. me today. Creature Commandos is awesome. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Thanks, thank you, brother. guys. Appreciate thank it. You.